My name is John Boland, B-O-L-A-N-D. I am the closest person to salvage. Your address, please. 36 Valley Road. Thank you. Uh, the expansion that took place runs right across my backyard that I can look out and, and see. I can see the uh, containers that were put up when the leaves go down. You can see them very clearly. I bought my property in 1976 and built, built my house and moved into it in 1986. For over 20 years, my family was able to enjoy our house and we lived in harmony with Southern Salvage, even though we are so close to the site. Before the containers were installed around 207, we could walk deep into the woods behind our house and saw trees in all directions. These trees were blocking our view of what was happening near the entranceway, where piles of railroad ties could be found. We could not hear the operation from behind our house. In 1985, these railroad tie piles were quite high as little storage was available because most of the land still contained trees. The railroad tie piles created a view from a height of uh, 12 feet. The, uh, the 1985 ordinance or whatever it had been put in place and restrictions were made on the property that was was there now in 1985 the town planning board grandfathered in so that salvage property and put restrictions on it so that both residential and business could coexist in 207 all the rules were broken so that salvage expanded put in a weight scale office trailer storage containers stacked them too high with no setback cut down a large area of trees. None of these <coughs> things were approved by the town. They have been running for about eight years. Now my backyard looks like Port Newark. 40 to 50 tractor trailers a day come down the road that's too narrow and comes to a dead end. The 60 trains in the yard are being cut up and a toxic smoke fills the valley. I also had two flat tires on both my cars this week which is a common complaint in our residential neighborhood. It was never our plan to put Southern Salvage out of business. For over 20 years, everything was fine. Now it's a nightmare. Yesterday, I was woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning when they started dumping tractor trailers of scrap. The only time we saw the zoning officer in eight years was the day after we put up signs to say, Stop Southern Salvage. He was there the next morning at 8 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you.